And while it is Victory Monday for the Browns, it's also Victory Monday for the Glenville High School Tar Blooders, who over the weekend won the state championship. Our Isabel Lawrence spoke to excited players and coaches this morning at a special celebration for the football team about what this win really means to them. Under the lights Saturday night, Glenville's high school football team made history, defeating Cincinnati, Wyoming to become champions in the Division IV state final. But the celebrations didn't end there. On Monday, the team entered Ginn Academy's morning meeting to a celebration as the first football team from the Cleveland Metropolitan School District to take home the title. Because we're state champions. The win, a long time coming for head coach Ted Ginn Sr. Since taking the position in 1997, his teams have made frequent playoff appearances, even going to the finals in 2009 and 2013, but never taking the title until now. We, we just wanted to make sure that people knew that the kids in Cleveland could achieve greatness at the highest level. I love it! I love it! Defying expectations important to Coach Ginn and to his players like senior linebacker Braylon West. Just hearing all the people doubt us and say that we just immature, not disciplined, but we proved them wrong. We won it, we did it, and we got it. To these young players, the sport is about more than the scoreboard. On and off the field, it's like a real family. More than just football, more than an athlete. A moment in time this team and community will remember forever. And a win that means so much more than a trophy. I try not to cry. Tears just fell out because it just feels so great. Just, I finally did it. Well, Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb and Council President Blaine Griffin were at the game over the weekend and said there will be a parade to celebrate this winning team, Laura. And we cannot wait to hear more about that. Isabel Lawrence, live for us in the newsroom with some good news. Isabel, thank you.